Andrew Weil, I'm a veterinary consultant based in Hamilton, uh, working with Livestock Logic in southwest Victoria. We were finding that producers that were managing their, their livestock to the gold standard weren't quite getting the, the level of lamb survival that we were you know, hoping they would get. One of the aspects we've looked at closely for the Fitch Joint project is the effect age has on, on the user ability to perform for another, for another 12 months. I guess the current sort of industry norm is probably to cull when sheep get to a certain age. And you know, our research has shown that that is not uh, the most appropriate way to decide on whether a sheep is fit for another year. Sheep that are all six years of age or, or all seven years of age, um, they're not all at the same stage of their life. And some of those sheep are starting to show the effects of being aged and others aren't. And I guess that's what we're really pushing producers to do is, is look at those age groups and go, well, if they're, if they're sound in every other element uh, apart from the tag in their ear, we should be keeping that sheep. Looking at an older sheep, it's really important we open our eyes up to see, is there another problem? So an older sheep that's light in condition, and when we're talking about light in condition, we're looking for a sheep that's a condition score lighter than the average. Uh, that sheep should be gone. If she's got a bad udder, uh, regardless of age, they're out. But if there's lameness and she's old, or, or the teeth are starting to break down and, and she's old, uh, we're gonna cull that sheep. So here we've got a good example of an older sheep that's in wonderful condition. So she's about 3.7 condition score. Uh, she's a red tag, which means she's eight years old. Uh, but because she's actually handling the environment really, really well from a condition score perspective, we're happy to let her go again. I do like to mouth them. Uh, her teeth are sound. And as a result, she's gonna stay in the flock. This sheep's a cull, classed as unfit. Uh, she's under condition score two. She's a blue tagger, so she's uh, seven, going on to be seven years old this year. And the mouth is starting to, the teeth are starting to uh, shrink in size. So she's a cull. I was trying to just focus on a younger flock and not worry about those older ewes, but plenty of older ewes that are culled just because they're old and they're fine. So through this process, I'd, I'd focus on um, culling other sheep that have faults rather than just on age. I'd be prepared to keep more older sheep. I've tended to keep keep older ewes and as, as long as they're productive and join less ewes to the maternal for the replacements. So I've tended to retain more numbers than perhaps most would. I don't, I haven't ever culled on age groups alone. I've tended to, to cull on essentially teeth and, and body condition or a combination of the two. If we are gonna keep these older ewes that are, that are otherwise fit and healthy and in good condition, uh, we just do need to be aware that they are more prone to diseases such as hypocalcemia and we need to take uh, certain steps to, to minimise the potential side effects of, of retaining those older sheep. From doing the Fit to Joint project, we did find that that first year of classing in particular, uh, that there is quite a lot of sheep that you will find with a bad udder and these older sheep that have traditionally been culled just because of the tag colour that's in their ear, if they are in good condition, uh, they can really help to offset the the losses that you will be taking out due to sheep having poor udders. I don't want to be too prescriptive about what age group people should and shouldn't keep, but if you need extra sheep and you've got fit six, seven year old sheep that are in good condition, uh, they really should be staying on your farm before you're looking elsewhere for additional sheep for your stocking run. Right.